Larry Pino's story is one shared by countless Americans. When his father passed away, his mother lived on her own and was fine for a while. There came a time in which she wasn't. And when she wasn't, she went back and forth from the hospital, back into rehab, back to the house that we had gotten her, back to the hospital, back to rehab, and it was this revolving door. So there came a time in which I said enough, uh, that's it. So I brought in 24-7 care. Her caregiver was amazing, but she and all of her friends were aging, and her social interaction rapidly declined. And so I started to look around for some place that I could put her, and without being critical to them, there was just no place that I'd be willing to put my mother. I just wasn't willing to do it. At a certain point, after lots of just really soul searching, I said, gee, what, what would it need to look like for me to be willing to put mom? What would it need to look like? And at that point, I remember too well just sitting at a chair, pulling out a piece of paper, pulling out a pen, and I started drawing what it would have to look like and describing what it would have to look like. Long story short, with much pain and suffering and without knowing anything about what it would really take to get to the end result, I ended up with the concept of Tuscan Gardens, the concept of what the type of lifestyle that I wanted to create and ultimately to be able to manifest it. So five years later, here we are. It was really all about the elegance of a lifestyle. Tuscan Gardens to me was a lifestyle of elegance, of passion, purpose, and joy. It was a lifestyle of aesthetics. It was a lifestyle of this wonderful environment, of music, of art, of daily living, taking advantage of every single moment, um, of loving friends, to be around those loving friends. And that had to be captured on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, what I saw missing from all of these other facilities, what we call here a community, um, but what I saw missing was, was the heart. It's the heart of what I call radical intimacy. It's that opportunity on a day-by-day -day basis to live a life that's worth living and to continue to live that life every single day and every single moment of it. It's making sure that when we think about senior living, we're not thinking about something which has been bolted on to the later years of life. It's an opportunity for greater commitment than ever to living out your life with purpose, passion, and joy. It was creating an environment that reinvented senior living from the ground up. Is your mom still with us? No. Mom passed away first part of last year. Um, she's with us. She's with us here. What would it have meant to you to have been able to have created this for her now? A lot. A lot. A lot. But she's here everywhere. Tuscan Gardens, a living legacy to a wonderful mother that totally reimagines supportive independent living, assisted living, and memory care. A one-of-a-kind community in which residents are considered family members and everyone's lifestyle is filled with elegance, passion, purpose, and joy.